Hey there friends on YouTube. My name is Roger with Electronics and Gadgets. If this is your first time here, thanks for stopping by. Hit the like and subscribe please. If you've been here before, thank you. For my next video, I'd like to do one on the Radio Code 103 and it's a Geiger counter um, next generation. It's ultra fast sensitive scintillation detector for searching and measuring gamma x-rays and hard beta. So let's do ahead, go ahead and do an unboxing here. Um, there's not a whole lot to it, unboxing wise. So here we have the, the unit itself. And this is really a neat unit. Um, I can't wait to go over all the features with this. This isn't just your normal Geiger counter that just clicks. It does a lot of stuff. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and unbox here first before I get ahead of myself. And we'll open it up. And we get a code for the for the uh, software. It has software that integrates with your iPhone or Android USB A to C charger and that is it for the unboxing next let's get into about the product so what is this used for it's a next generation Geiger counter ultra fast sensitivity it's an isotope identifier it radiation mapping has radiation mapping you can create tracks with Google Maps and offload source maps. It has a mobile and PC application available for iOS and Android and PC. Energy and temperature compensation, accurate readings in any weather conditioning, even heat and frost. And it can be used for food contamination, exclusive advanced feature to exclude the consumption of food products contaminated with nuclear radiation. Radio Code is a state-of-the-art Geiger counter that has significantly altered the method of detecting nuclear radiation. The device provides energy compensation for the dose rate, which enables an equally precise measurement of both high-energy gamma radiation and low-energy x-rays. The measurement is performed concurrently in two channels, the dose rate measured in microsieverts and the impulse is recorded in CPS, or counts per second. In other words, one channel represents radiation intensity, while the other reflects the impact on living organism. There appears to be some sort of action occurring. The impact of different isotopes of radiation source on the organism is varied. Radiocode possesses, possesses the capability to identify their energy level and provide precise data regarding dose exposure. It is crucial to note that both CPS and millisieverts measurements, there exists an alarm system that can be customized according to one's preference. In addition to its utmost importance of consideration, the potential health risks associated with consuming local grown products from regions affected by example the Chernobyl disaster in 1986 as well as areas impacted by nuclear tests and accidents. This includes specific regions across Eastern, Western and Northern Europe, the United States, Japan, Ukraine, Belarus and Russia. Due to the presence of CZ-137, which is a man-made element, these organic materials, the consumption of certain locally grown products from these areas could pose health risks to an extended period of 30 to 100 years. Each device undergoes individual temperature calibration, ensuring consistent spectral recording even under significant temperature variations. This guarantees the accuracy of the spectrum regardless of temperature fluctuations. The spectrum resolution for CZ-137 is 8.2% plus or minus 0.4% full width at half maximum comparable to high-end laboratory equipment 
For optimal visual visualization, the spectrum chart can be viewed on a Bluetooth connected smartphone or PC. Isotope identification. Gamma spectrometry, a predominant feature of radiocode, represents a groundbreaking breaking advancement in radiation detection technology. Previously confined to expensive laboratory equipment, this capability is now accessible in a compact cop pocket sized device weighing a mere 67 grams. This innovative device empowers users to identify various radiation sources including radium-226, cesium-137, thorium-238, AM-241, and numerous other isotopes. From a scientific perspective, this feature offers an impressive experience into the enigmatic realm of nuclear physicists, providing insights into the invisible matter that surrounds us. It encourages users to study radiation sources, formulate hypotheses, engage in discussion within communities of like-minded individuals, and make discoveries. Moreover, gamma spectrometry has vital practical applications. It serves as a crucial safety measure enabling the detection of isotopes such as radium-226, cesium-137, or americium in urban areas. In such instances, it becomes imperative to alert emergency services promptly. Radiation mapping. Radiocode's distinctive feature is its ability to record radiation measurements on Google Maps or OpenStreetMap when synchronized with a smartphone via Bluetooth. The device automatically captures radiation levels at user-defined intervals, generating a track composed of color points on the map. The color of the track represents the radiation level at the corresponding location. Shades of red signify higher levels, yellow indicates moderate levels, and blue and green show lower levels. This color coding is an initiative as a traffic light system. Additionally, users have the option to customize their own color palettes. Furthermore, users can export their maps to share with other radio code users or import their maps directly into the application. Radio code serves as a valuable tool for detecting and monitoring radiation levels enabling users to identify areas with elevated or reduced radiation levels which may indicate interesting and unusual phenomena or objects. Food Activity Monitoring Radiocode offers a specialized mode for detecting the presence of cesium-137 in food products. This isotope is prevalent worldwide due to extensive nuclear testing in the past and notable accidents like Chernobyl. Its synthetic nature disguises it from naturally occurring elements and living organisms can mistake it for essential components in organic tissues. Upon engineering the human or animal body, it accumulates in vital organs potentially remaining throughout the individual's lifetime. Spectrogram functionality. A spectrogram is a collection of gamma spectra recorded at specific time intervals. It is presented as a color array capable of storing thousands of spectra. The recording is done automatically, continuously, and essentially without user involvement. This mode can be extremely useful in various situations, such as identifying source of radiation if an alarm system suddenly starts and goes off without an immediate apparent cause. 
For example, it is possible to identify the radiation source as individuals who have gone radioisotope therapy or contrast imaging processing. By, typically, these individuals trigger the alarm briefly as they pass, after which the background radiation levels quickly return to normal, leaving the user concerned about the reasons for the device's activation. In such cases, the spectrogram operating in the background mode is likely to provide an explanation. Having had time to record data about the event, by examining the recorded spectrogram at a convenient time, the user may discover that the source of the short-lived radiation spike was, for instance, Tanesium 99M. So that's my video on the Radio Code 103 and I wanted to add I'm certainly no chemist, nuclear chemist or nuclear physicist however I'm a very in advanced beginning uh, individual just simply interested in the the study of radiation and the isotopes and this is really a sharp instrument and any beginner can really start in with this and go into any sort of advanced field. Um, I'm sure these things are being used by many different companies. Um, it's a very, very powerful tool. So I hope you found my video to be helpful. Thank you for being here. Please click like and subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment down below. And until next time, I'm out.